Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this little tip, I'd like to show you how you can apply visual tooltips or report page tooltips, whatever you want to name them, on images and buttons. I'm going to show you the problem and then we see how we can solve it. So let's say I want to create a report and for that, just for you to follow along, I just use the sample data set, which is included in Power BI. By simply clicking here and then you can click on load sample data and then it loads directly a financial data set from here, which you can use in order to try this new trick. Click on load, and then we just wait, and then the data is loaded. Okay, so far so good. Now, in this case, I need some kind of image, and you can use any kind of image you want. For now, for me, I will go to insert, and under insert, I have the option to go to image. So if I click on image, I can navigate to my image folder in here. I can take this, and then let me click on open, and then I have here my image. So let's say this is just a little helper icon which I want to embed in my report. So let's say I have created my report and I want to add this somewhere on my report page, right? So let's put this in here and let me just for now, just so you see that better, make it a little bit bigger, okay? Like that, for instance. Okay, so now I can select this and uh, let me just go to the view option here in the new Power BI ribbon option and let me go to the formatting option so we can see that as well. And here, if I would search I select my, my current image, and if I search for tooltip here, so tooltip, you see that under actions, there is an option. Currently it's grayed out, simply because we have not activated the action. So let's just activate it, click on on, and now you can see that the tooltip is on. Now what can we do with this tooltip? So if I click on here, tooltip, I can see that I can insert some text in here. Or I also have the option, because it's dynamic, I can do conditional formatting, this means I can create a DAX measure and then refer to this me measure. Of course, this measure has then has to return some kind of text, which I can then insert here. So for now, instead of creating a DAX measure in here, just use uh, the demo here and say here, let me just enter something. For instance, here, um, here you find, uh, find help, for instance, right? So anything like that. So if I do that, and now if I hover over this button, you can see that, or image in this case, button is the same, I would see here some text, here you find help. So far so good. Now the problem is, I cannot insert any kind of report page tooltip in here. And what I mean by that, if you go back to the tooltip, select it, you see that we don't have, do not have the option to choose, for instance, another report page. This is not available here for images as well as for buttons. So what can we do? Well, what we could do instead is, instead of using this tooltip, let's just turn this off, this is not helpful for us, we can use another option, which means that we need to overlay it. So the trick is actually to overlay our image or button with a card visual. Because the card visual supports visual tooltips or report page tooltips, whatever you want to call them. So how to do this? Well, at first we need to go, let's go under, in this case, Simply insert, let me just insert some kind of here, some kind of card. And for that, we need a new measure. So let me actually go inside here and let's create a measure. So let's go in here and say new measure. And then for now, let me just zoom in so you can see that better on your screens. So that's the measure. And the measure is just a placeholder. Yeah, you can name this whatever you like, but let's call it placeholder is equal to, and then simply in quotes, and then nothing in here. And then again, simply a quote in here, something like that, right? So let me press enter. And this is now the measure we have, and that's what we want to visualize. So I can simply search for what kind of visualization I want. In this case, I'm going with the card visual. So let me just take card here in the ribbon. And now for that, I need some data. I can either go to add data here from the field list, or I could also use my placeholder and drag and drop it directly in here, like that. And you see that we have simply an empty, because it's a placeholder, an empty card with also the label. Of course, we want to get rid of the label, so let's actually go in here. Okay, obviously, it's already there, so we can untick this here, and the label is gone. If I would place this on top of my first visual, currently you can see uh, the layer order is correct, but currently it has a white background. That's why my image is completely hidden, and that's not what I want. So what I need is, is first, let's go to the more options uh, in here, and then search for, let's get rid of the tooltip here, and search for background. And you can see that the background is on and currently it's white. So either we could modify it here or we can also turn it off. So now I turn it off 
And now if I just use this and would put this on top of this one here, you can see that now uh, we can still see our image here. The advantage, and what's very important, just keep this in mind, um, if you change later the order, may, make sure that the, the card visual is still on top of the image, right? Or the button you have. That's compulsory. Now, the great thing is that if I select the card visual, and if I search for tooltips there, tooltip, for instance, you see that there is an option to activate the tooltips. And if I turn this on, under options, I can actually choose a report page. So just to check that, that this really works, let's go to page number two, and let's just create a report page tooltip here, just an example, okay? So for now, let's just say, okay, first of all, let's select the page, and let's actually move this and go to page information, and here we need to specify a name. Let's just name this maybe tooltip. It's not compulsory, but let's use this here. And then for the page type, let's choose tooltip here. Now, of course, it gets smaller, but uh, to be able to work better with that, let's go to the view option here, and then let's go under page view and select here fit to page. So we have a little bit easier to work with that. And now you can use any kind of visualization you want. So again, I will just use some kind of um, example here, but you can, of course, adjust this to your report. So if I say, for instance, I'd like to see the sales numbers here, and then, uh, for instance, here by each of the products, I can choose products here, and I can see here, um, I got my products and my sales. Um, of course, I can also remove a few things and customize this further. If I go to the formatting options, for instance, X axis, I can rid of that uh, here, for instance, that should be fine. But at least actually, I would like to see the products, so let's keep the products here. And let's actually get rid of the title, maybe, so we have a little bit more space in here. So let me go to the formatting options here. Let's just search for title here as well. So title, and uh, what do we have in here? So here, for instance, for the x-axis, let me get rid of the title here. I don't need this. Okay, and now I have this visual, and maybe I also drag it a little bit bigger, like that, for instance, right? So as I said, it's just an example. You can use whatever you want in here. Now let's go back to page number one. And now let's select our blank card visual and search again in here under the formatting options for this case, tooltip, tooltip. Now we already activated them, so they're on. And now we can refer to a report page. And then for report page, we can go to tooltip here. So select the one we have created. And that's actually it. So now if we hover over our image, if we hover over it, you see that now we have our visual tooltip in here, right? And of course, you can put place whatever you want inside. So of course, also additional texts. You can format the text as well, maybe in certain ways, which by default is not possible with the image and so on. So that's the trick. So hopefully that was helpful. And I really hope you can implement this in your own reports. As always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.